we are talking about something that, you know what, is happening this time of year, particularly here in the Park City area. I've never lived in snow before, so I'm not familiar with all the things that can go wrong when you own a home. And um, we're going to talk now with Nilco. And wow, there's so much going on. Dennis Deuce is with us, and he's going to tell you there's icicles building on the sides of people's homes right now, and it is damaging. It is yeah. extremely damaging. And I don't think we realize, and we think we can get up there and knock them down with something. Not the right, uh, not, not the right decision approach. to and, make. And, <laughs> and a lot of times the icicles aren't the problem. It's the okay. ice behind them. You know, sometimes you'll get icicles and they aren't even a problem. It's, it's when the ice develops up and behind, that ice can either um, fall. It's been known to kill people, damage wow. cars, right. um, damage buildings, damage property. Um, it also will pool water behind it which will cause leaks seeing that any roof is designed to actually shed water as soon as you make it stagnant then that water is going to find its way path of least resistance and that's right through the roof well and i think that's something that we don't realize is going on we don't realize that these icicles as they melt they don't melt all the way down so they start to kind of form a dam as you called it correct and that dam starts to hold the water so then you have another layer of ice that's forming after it freezes and then it melts down again and then this dam just continues to build that's right i don't think people realize how heavy the ice is or maybe they do you told me a story a little while ago about a friend of yours and an icicle that fell on her car yeah she was uh working over um in deercrest mm -hmm. uh and while she was parked in front of the home, um, an ice dam fell off and basically flattened the front end of her car. Yeah. Um, $5,000 damage just from the ice on the roof. Right. And we're, we weren't, we're not talking about just a paint job that needs to be done. No. The windshield was shattered. There was glass on the inside, damage to the roof, damage to the hood of the car. Yep. So it did quite a bit. I had an experience myself. An icicle fell down. My pathway to my home has brick on it hit a brick and chipped it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you don't think about the little things that can really start to add up. Imagine, like you said, a car. Mm -hmm. Or these things are so unpredictable, we don't know where they're going to fall or how they're going to fall. So you can damage property as well. Yes. You have a system that can just prevent all of this from happening. Tell us about it. Well, um, it, it's uh, there's two systems. Um, now, of course, there's the standard everyone's heard of in Park City, which is just heat cable. And we do heat cable. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people think that since we've developed these other systems, we don't do heat cable. These pictures right here that you're looking at, this is a standard heat cable job right here. We actually did a re-roof, and that home is in Jeremy Ranch. It actually now has a solar-powered snowmelt system on oh, it. Oh, wow. Okay, and um, the bottom picture, the bottom picture is yours. No, the bottom picture okay. is before we re-roofed. This All top right. picture is our system. The heat cable in this system is running underneath these metal shingles. Those shingles are manufactured by Classic, and there's an airspace enough that we can get the, the heating source, either heat cable or hydronic tube, in there. And you can see it's a complete clear eave. If you look up here, this is actually this is a condo, and they only did that one roof as a test. Up okay. here, at there's the wood shakes You're looking at, at the, the very, very top, top of, the, of the picture. That, that has um, regular heat cable, and the ice is built up in the upper corner of the upper upper picture. So um, our system clears the entire eave as opposed to just a track where the heat cable and, is. And you know, I think one of the things that we have to really recognize when you're looking at this picture, there's with the deck level, you have that eave that's just hanging over just a bit. Mm -hmm. But if there are icicles hanging down and they fall onto that deck, you've got a damaged deck at this point. Correct. Okay, so you're not only replacing the damage that the icicles have done on the roof, you're also now replacing a deck yes. as well and possibly whatever may be below it yes. because it's just kind of a snow, no pun intended, but a snowball effect yes, as, exactly. it, as it starts to really build and, and fall down. Show us what we're looking at um, in this next photo. This is um, a, one of the Larkspur condos um, up in Empire Pass. Okay. They've had um, heat cable historically and they've also had another uh, manufactured system and both of those have failed. We have been going through and putting on some tests. This is one of the test systems we did. You can see there's like four feet of snow yes. sitting there and completely clear. We're actually using less energy 
here than they were using heat cable in the exact same location. Okay, and, and we're was, keeping everything clear on and this. And that was my next question. Okay, we're now adding another system to our home. And people in this area are very concerned about energy efficiency. Is this energy efficient? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. The picture that we've just pulled up right here is the timing was perfect on that. This is a hydronic version of our system. Okay. So there is not heat cable underneath that roofing. This one is hydronic tubes, like are in your radiant floor or your driveway melt system. All right. Hooked to your boiler. Now, on any other job with the hydronic system, you would be saving about 90% of your energy cost overheating the same area with heat cable. Okay. But this particular house, on the other side of that ridge, are three solar panels on the south side. Okay. And so that snow melt system right there is heated by the sun. Okay, so that's perfect. Now, should we be concerned with the pile up of snow on top of the roofs or not so much? We need to be more worried about the icicles because that's where the damage comes in. Yes, the ice is where the damage, the ice is what can kill people, can harm property, um, and can create the leaks into the home. The snow that is up above any home built since the mid 80s. Mm -hmm. um, oh, here's actually the solar panels. Okay, so that's the that other the, side that's of the that home. That's the other side of the one we were just okay. looking at. But any, um, any home built since the mid 80s in Park mm -hmm. City is built to 100 year snow loads. Okay. Okay, so the engineering is okay. there. The home isn't gonna collapse so because fine. it's got snow on. I mean, if your home was built in 1975 and you've got five feet of snow on it, you may wanna hire someone to, to shovel it. All right. But if Otherwise, your home is built in the boom of the 90s, you're, you're fine. fine. You know, if your home was designed in such a way that you have ice dam problems, you know, then we can handle it. Okay. The picture that's up right now, I just want to point out, on the right of the picture, that's our snow melt system. All right. To the left, you can see that rain gutter. That's yes. regular heat cable. Oh, it is. So there mm -hmm. are actually, and you can do that in one home. You can well, do two different systems, is, or do you recommend you, you, that? You can. This is the Larkspur condo still. All right. And all they've been having us do this winter is their very worst problems. This okay. summer, they're looking at having us do the entire complex. They've been so happy with the system. Mm -hmm. But until now, we're only replacing what was there with and any time it leaks, basically, is what we're doing. Okay. We're putting our system in. So that's how you end up with this, you know, one is one way and two years from now, they're all going to look like the area the that's same area. set to the back. And I think that's one of the things we need to probably make very clear to a lot of people, is that this is not a system that you have to do your entire roof. Most homes tend to have um, for lack, a, a hot spot or a mm -hmm. spot where you have a greater amount of ice buildup than you do, say, on a home that gets tons and tons of sunshine on a regular basis. Correct. So it's not something you need to go to. How do people get in touch with you to find out about Nilco and having you come out and just you know, look at the homes and find out where the need would be or if there really is even a need for one. Well, the easiest way is to go to our website. Okay. Um, you can contact me or any of the other estimators at our company. It's neilco.net. Okay. Um, neilco is N-I-E-L. Okay. But just if, you know, run a search for um, Park City Ice Dams okay. on a Google search and you'll find our website too. So if you forget Neilco, you'll remember Park City Ice Dams. All right. And you'll find us that way. These pictures right here, I just want to touch on really quick. Um, this is uh, our system done with thermal imaging. The upper left-hand corner photo was taken at the same time as the lower photo. That's the same building, and they were simultaneously taken by a professional. Okay. You can see how the yellow shows the warm area, and you can see how warm that is and how even our snow melt is. There are other systems out there. This is one that we had installed because that's what the owner wanted mm -hmm. on a different home. It is not our system. Okay. And you can see how you've got these yellow hot spots and then dark areas. Right. The end result is you don't get nearly as even um, a melt and you also use more energy because the energy isn't being transferred. I was going to say you're forcing energy into areas where there is none right now. So the system has to work a little bit harder, doesn't it? Yes, okay. exactly. And this, all this is doing is sending the energy straight up into the air. Whereas okay. we're getting our energy to, to flow through the whole EVE area. That's one of the, the differences between our system on the left and our competitor system on the right. Fantastic. And it's nilco.net mm -hmm. for more information. To get rid of that darn ice, you need something to break up those ice dams, right? That's right. And so go to nilco.net for more information. Thank you so much for getting up with us this morning.